What's going on everyone? This is Future Automation, a place where imagination meets reality and you are listening to Tejas. This is the second episode of Apple Shortcuts 101 and we are going to look at the variables. So with a cup of coffee, let's get started. So guys, this is going to be a pretty short video because here I'm just going to explain you how we can take some data and put it in some kind of variable and then we can use that data in some future action. So the reason I'm creating a separate video for this is because the third video that we are going to create which is uh, on data types that is kind of based on this video and this is going to be used a bit more in that because we are going to show different kind of data types in variables and all that you know if we can add two numbers if we can get a a string and all that we'll look we'll look that in the coming videos for now we'll just focus on the variable so i hope you remember that what we have done in the last video was this so when we click on play for the previous one and if we'll you know add some data we'll get a notification here so that was basic that was a basic shortcut that we created and that was it what today we are going to do is we are going to look at one the variable part and the second part that i intended to explain you in the previous video only but the video got too long so i thought of explaining you that part in this video that is adding the shortcut in share sheet what is the share sheet and all that stuff so we'll go one by one we'll first look at the variable so any kind of data that you need to store in a variable what you do is you create a basic shortcut now here you can see that we have created a basic shortcut we'll go in the search box and we'll search for set variable now since i have done this already so in the suggestion part that is here it is already showing me the set variable but if you don't have that then you can look it in the search bar or in the all action so here whenever you are adding any set variable action what the shortcut will do is it will find the most suitable data or the value that is being added in previous actions in this particular uh, action data so and only it will leave you a bank space to add a variable name so the message and now if I'm, I'll click on enter, it will turn into blue, which will mention that the variable that you have created is ready to use. Now, if I'll clear this variable and if I'll long tap on this, what I'll get is a, the message. This is one way or you can just use the magic variable here to understand, okay, what all things you can use. You can click on the message and it will basically come up here. Now, again, if we'll play this and if I'll type here, that is hello from variable and if I will click on done, it will show you the same notification. Now here the flow basically go, what is going is, yeah and this is another main thing that you need to keep in mind is the flow of the shortcut app or the shortcut that you create goes from top to bottom. So always remember the actions that you create should go in the same manner. Although you have different flow controls which will push forth and back, but the basic nature of any shortcut flow will be from top to bottom. So flow controls and other actions we are going to look in the next further videos, but I just wanted to give you a quick, uh, you know, note on that now let's add an image here uh, since i have already tried this out so it has it was suggesting me so to add the image in the notification what we need to do is again um, search for photos here and take any action which will select a photo so what i'll do is i'll grab this get latest photo here and when you check out the options here below what it will give you is 
one it will give you include shortcuts and then another one at the top here will give you number of photos that you need to add so you can add more than one photos as well for now we'll stick to only one photo so what it'll do is it'll go in my gallery it will take the latest whichever photo is there in the gallery even if it is a shortcut and next to that again we'll go in set variables now the great thing about variables is that it will store any kind of data so now here it is storing an image while here it is storing a string data and i'll add a variable name here so the image again and if i click on enter or if i click somewhere else it will add it now in the attachment if we do a long press again it will give you the image here or again you can go with the magic variable so i'll click on the image and now if we'll click on play here and we'll keep it as it is and click on done you can see at the uh, corner here there is a small image that is shown up and we also have a preview of that image so this is the latest image that i'm having in my gallery and that is basically being shown in the notification now till here a very you know important part of variables is done now the next advanced part of all the data types and different you know data is being stored in the variable that will be captured in the next video now the second part of this video which is the powerful part i think one of the powerful part of shortcut and the reason why this is gonna help you a lot in your daily work that is creating a shortcut in share sheet so basically what share sheet is now whenever you're working on something uh and you have this icon here and whenever you click on it you can see here that we have some options of sharing some details like you know whatever apps you are having all that apps are here mentioned here we have a more option as well where we'll where you'll have more apps more details with which you can you know share this particular piece of work a web page a song anything that you're working with to someone else but with that you have something that is that is way more powerful than what you can imagine that is the shortcuts in share sheet now how to create a shortcut in share sheet let's take a look at that go back and here in the shortcuts uh, sidebar you will have an option called share sheet in the share sheet when you click on new a new app or a new shortcut app will be created but here you will see that there is some difference in the shortcut there is one part that is already added here one action and it is saying receive images and 18 more things input from a share sheet and if there is no any input you just continue with whatever next actions you are having now if you check this images and 18 more you'll see here that we have a lot of different actions that you can possibly share here say for example image media files folders pdfs text rich text safari web pages urls and blah blah a lot of things what we are going to do is we're clearing out everything we are going to focus on only one thing that is text when you click on done what will do is receive text input from share sheet and then whatever you do just continue with it so now what we are going to do is we are going to create a note create note so when you search for create a note you will have an action here create note now what will do is so when you are adding a note action here what will do is it will ask you for a folder now i have already created a folder here with name shortcuts 101 and in body again we can go and we can select a magic variable you can we can see here that we have a shortcut input we can select that now what it will do is whatever text it is having that is coming from a share sheet that will be stored in a note now since this uh, shortcut cannot be run through the shortcut app we need to go to the share sheet and we need to run there so create create i'll rename it create note shot okay and it has itself given a new logo here but you can change it if you want so let's go to safari web pages here 
Now, if if we'll go to notes, you can see here shortcut 101 app is already here, but there is no any note. So we will go to the Safari pages, and if you we'll select something here, what we'll do is, if you'll we'll tap on this again, I'll do it. So I was doing it with mouse. I need to do it with my hand. So if 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 you'll select everything. You know, with your fingers, you'll see here that there is a share option here. If it is not popping up, you just tap on it with your finger and you'll get this so on share. If you'll go down, you can see here, last but second, there is an option called create note short. Now, this is the shortcut that we have created. And we'll, when you'll click on it, what it'll do is it'll ask you for permission. So you click on always allow and then you can see that the note is created. This is this is really amazing because the people who are usually having a lot of work and they you know you know they just need to create quick notes so that they can look at them afterwards. These kind of shortcuts can be really very handy. And this is just you know we are just scratching the top of the iceberg. There is too much inside, and we are going to look at it. And I'm really excited that once we complete the basics of the shortcuts 101, we are going to go deep in creating a lot of advanced shortcuts and that will be really amazing part so let's go back to the shortcut app and yep that's it guys for today today's video i hope you have already liked the video there is a lot coming in so you make sure that you stay tuned all the people who have not watched previous video make sure you watch the previous video because that is going to give a small idea on okay where we are going on and then come to this video so that you can start with the basics of variable and make sure you watch this video at all don't miss a single part of it because this video is going to be the foundation for the third video which is data types and then we are going to go to the control flow and all that stuff but as of now just keep in mind that the next part will be data types and what all kinds of data we can use in shortcuts so if you like the video, make sure you hit the like button. If you have any kind of issue or if you have created any kind of shortcut, make sure that you share that with us in this comment box. And also make sure if you want, you can check my LinkedIn. You can share me there as well. Your recordings of what shortcut you have created and we'll surely show it in the next videos if you have anything cool. And also keep creating different shortcuts that will make your life easy. If you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel and share your valuable feedback in the comment box i'll be really happy to you know read all your comments and there, if there are any improvements needed and also keep innovating guys take care thank you